Uh, this is question number 18, uh, 2022 KCSE Mathematics Paper 1. And we are told the short put is spherical and has a mass of 7.26 kg. It is made of metal with a density of 6.93 grams per centimeter cube. Take pi to be uh, 22 over 7. Part A. Determine the radius of the short put to collect to one decimal place. Uh, so we have been given the mass and we have been given the uh, density. Uh, what do we know? Uh, we know that uh, density is equal to mass over volume. Uh, and we are looking for the, the radius. So we need to find volume is equal to uh, mass over density. Mass over density. So with that, uh, we know that uh, the volume is equal to the volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 uh, pi r cubed. So we can now take uh, this formula and we say 4 over 3 uh, pi, uh, which we can replace uh, with the 22 over 7. So we multiply by 22 over 7, 22 over 7, that is the pi. Uh, you multiply by the radius squared is equals radius cubed rather is equals to uh, the volume uh, volume is uh, we have said it is mass over density uh, mass is 7.26 and this is in kg so we convert that to to grams because our density is given in gram per centimeter cube uh, so these are grams and you divide by 6.93 uh, this is uh, grams per centimeter cubed uh, so that is the so, so the only unknown here now is the r and you can find r is equals to you cross multiply you cross multiply this side you multiply by 3 you multiply by 7 you divide by 4 you divide by 22 uh, you'll be able to find that the radius is a cube root of 250 which is approximately uh, 6.3 centimeters so that is the radius um, because I don't have space but uh, I think at this juncture you should be able to uh, make uh, the subject here and uh, simplify using a calculator you just multiply 7.26 times 1000 you multiply by 3, you multiply by 7, and you divide by 6.93, you divide by 4, you divide by 22, that is what should give you that figure. At B, we are told a bucket is in the shape of a frustrum of a cone. Uh, the base radius of the bucket is 7 cm. The bucket contains water to a height of 15 centimeter the radius of the surface of the water is 10.5 centimeter find the volume of the water in the bucket that you get three marks roman number two the short put ball is completely submerged in the water in the bucket calculate the height of the bucket the height of the water in the, the new height of the water in the bucket so it means that uh, our bucket is in this shape that's a frustrum uh, so for us to be able to work with, uh, with it we assume it is a it, it was a complete cone it was a complete cone because for us to be able to get the volume the, the volume of water in the bucket we have to use the formula of finding the volume of a, of a cone and the volume of a cone is equal to a third base area times height uh, we need to find the since here we have been given it is the the the, the, the surface the, the 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 radius of the surface of the water is 10 point that is uh, this is 10.5 and here we have been given the radius of the bucket is seven cent seven centimeter 
we can get the we can get the linear scale factor uh, so if we say this is uh, we need height uh, so we say that is uh, the height there the height of the bucket uh, we are told it is 15 and uh, let's say this is our x the height of the assuming the whole cone the whole cone is x so for us to be able to get x which is going to help us get the volume here we will just say that uh, 10.5 you divide by 7 is equals to the total is 15 plus x and you divide by x so if we get x then you'll be able to get the the volume uh if you compute this you'll be able to that is you cross multiply that 7 multiplied by 15 plus x 10 x you'll be able to get x is equals to 30 x is equals to 30 and therefore the total height here is 45 that is the total uh, height of the assumed code cone uh, now with that then we can find we will be able to find the volume of the small cone the volume of the whole cone you subtract the volume of the small cone and that is going to get the volume of the bucket so you just say the volume is equals to a third now we multiply by pi uh, let's say the height this be r the, the, the big R, R squared uh, multiplied by, uh, that is uh, the, the radius, this is the R. This we use it as height multiplied by height, you minus uh, the volume of the small cone, which is uh, that pi, uh, then you use a small R squared, uh, rather cubed, uh, that is. Uh, not cube but uh, squared because it is the area of the circle you multiply by the small height so here we can simplify and say this is a third uh, multiply by pi then we say it is r squared h you minus r squared height so this you'll be able to get the radius uh, you'll be able to get the volume uh, so we just substitute uh, I just substitute this value so we say it is the that multiply by 22 over 7 uh, you multiply by now our radius that's the big radius is 10.5 you multiply by the big height which is 45 uh, you minus the small radius is 7 squared this is squared and you multiply by uh, the, 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 the height which we have found it is 30 that is the value of x the height of the small cone so that is 30 so you can compute that and uh, you'll be able to get uh, this will give you 3657.5 so that is the volume of the water in the bucket uh, I hope you have followed don't have uh, enough space here but at least using your calculator you just substitute these values and you'll be able to get uh, the volume lastly we have roman number two the short put is completely submerged in the water uh, in the bucket calculate the new height of the water in the bucket now here uh, we say uh, we can use a volume scale factor we use a volume scale factor volume scale factor so we are looking okay we assume that now after use the the the, the short put is submerged we have a new volume in the yeah, of uh, the new volume in the bucket so we say uh, volume scale factor it is the same as uh, 45 plus x uh, that is 45 let's call this height y so it is 45 plus y you divide by 45 you you cube that is the height of the added uh, height of the bucket 
you divide by, you add to the 45, the, 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 the initial height, you, you divide by 45, which is, uh, now, which is uh, the, the assumed height of the cone, should be equal to, you already have uh, the volume of the, we already have the volume, uh, the volume of, we have the volume of the, we have the volume of the sphere, so this is equals to uh, the volume is uh, 4,000. That is, uh, I will just say uh, for it to be clear, it is equals. We already have the volume that is at the six, the volume of the water in the in the bucket before the the short put was in submerged was uh, submerged in water. You add to the volume of the the volume of the short put uh, so the volume is said it is 7.26 you convert that to grams by multiplying by a thousand and you divide by you divide by the volume that we have calculated in normal number one so this is 3657.5 Point five. Using your calculator, you can work out this. Uh, you find that uh, uh, this should be able to get the value of y. So y is equal to 3.94 centimeter. This is the change in height. So you add to the initial height, which is uh, 15. The height of the bucket was 15. Uh, so you say uh, new height is equal to uh, 15 plus 3.94 and that should give you 18 point that is 18.94 centimeters so that is the new height of the bucket and by doing that then you should be able to score 10 marks